trees are on the stable roof, and Piper is in a forest of giant flowers. How did this happen? It all started when... Piper and her pony pals Paloma and Casey were playing ball with their ponies when Piper spotted something very strange on the stable roof. Look, said Piper, it's Giddy Goat, Mama Rabbit, and Mr. Chippy. I wonder how they got up there, said Casey. Suddenly, Spark picked up a tiny wand lying in the grass and tossed it to Tuck, who threw it to Raina. The ponies neighed in delight at their new game. <laughs> Until... Zip, zap, kip, poof! All three ponies disappeared! Oh no! Cried Piper. Where have our ponies gone? Maybe they've become invisible! Suggested Paloma. Aw, oh, no fair! Said Casey. I want to be invisible! But the ponies had not become invisible. They were on the stable roof too! Now what are we going to do? said Piper. If magic got them up there, said Paloma, picking up the tiny wand, maybe magic can get them down. With a swish of the wand and a pony shazam, the animals disappeared from the stable roof. <laughs> Yay, I did it, yelped Paloma. But the animals did not reappear. Ah, uh, don't worry, Casey said. I'm great at magic, too. And with another swish of the wand, zip, zap, kaboof! Giddy Goat, Mama Rabbit, Mr. Chippy, and the three ponies were all beside the kids. But instead of being at the stable, they were now in a forest of giant flowers. As Piper and her friends started to explore, a little voice made them jump. It was a flower fairy. Hip, hip, hooray! You found my wand! Said the flower fairy. I thought I'd lost it in the pond. I'm glad your wand isn't lost, but I think we are! Said Piper. Where did all these giant flowers come from? The flowers around you are as they should be. It's magic that's made you as tiny as me, explained the flower fairy. You and your friends haven't gone far, said the flower fairy. Beside the stable is where you are. So we're super small, gasped Casey excitedly. Cool, but... Will we stay tiny forever? Asked Paloma. Oh, goodness, no. Just tell me when, and I will make you big again, said the flower fairy. But first, let's have some petal cake. With a pinch of magic, it's easy to bake. And with a swish of her wand, the flower fairy made a delicious looking cake appear. After finishing their slice of petal cake, it was time for Piper, Paloma, and Casey to go home. Come back soon, said the flower fairy. And with a magical zip zap kapoof, the flower fairy made the kids, the ponies, and their animal pals turn back to exactly the right size. It's good to be big again, <laughs> said Casey. Sure is, Paloma agreed. So, what should we do now? Mm, how about another adventure? Casey suggested. That sounds like a pony-tastic idea, said Paloma. Piper smiled. Then what are we waiting for? Let's ride, said Piper, as the three best friends set off in search of their next ponytail. Piper was pretending to flutter like a fairy when two real fairies suddenly appeared from the forest in a panic. The royal fairy ponies are missing, said one of the fairies. The royal fairy ponies always pull the king and queen's carriage, the fairy continued. <laughs> Without them, there won't be a fairy festival, ah! squeaked the other fairy. Don't worry, little fairies, 
said Piper. We're here to help! You can count on us, added Paloma. And our ponies, said Casey. The ponies all neighed in agreement. <laughs> the kids looked all over the forest. Behind rocks, in bushes, even up trees. But they couldn't find the royal fairy ponies anywhere. Just as the kids were starting to lose hope, Tuck's ears perked up. Then Raina sniffed the air, and Spark pointed with his hoof to an old oak tree. From their hiding place, the kids and their ponies could hear a happy voice singing. Everyone calls me the naughty elf. I'm really naughty, just see for yourself. I like to play tricks on lots of folks. But don't get upset, cause they're just jokes. <laughs> Hello, said Piper, making the elf jump. What? what? Uh, who are you? Uh, I, I didn't do it, the elf blurted out. Mm, what didn't you do? asked Paloma. Uh, nothing, nothing, said the elf, pacing. But uh, I especially did not let the royal fairy ponies out of their stables and leave them in the bluebell meadow. The elf continued. The elf stopped pacing and looked at the kids, who all burst out laughing. <laughs> Soon after, the elf took them to where the royal fairy ponies were still munching happily on some long green grass. I'm sorry, said the elf. I just like playing jokes on people. <laughs> the elf looked sad and started to walk away when Piper got an idea. <gasps> Would you like to come to the fairy festival with us? She asked. The elf smiled his biggest smile ever. <gasps> yes, please! <laughs> He replied, excited. The fairy king and queen invited the elf to join them in the royal carriage. The elf was so grateful that he promised never to be naughty again. Everyone cheered, hooray, hooray! and nay, <laughs> as the fairy festival was a big success. And watch Piper's Pony Tales and subscribe.